New Republic, Global Currency Reset, Update By Judy Byington August 31, 2016 Website ChildAbuseRecovery.com Produced by Higher Self According to Philip Tilton, the rumor was that as of August 28, first basket currencies to U.S. notes were being exchanged at the highest level. The Abbott Downing contract to exchange Zimbabwe bond notes through Wells Fargo centers supposedly started at 5 p.m. on August 28, and would go to 5 p.m. the next Saturday, September 3. Western States Open Mic Network admin Bill said on August 28 that they had changed things around today, payments were made and signatures completed. On that same Sunday, August 28, Firefly claimed that Vietnam had twice announced on Bloomberg that they were revaluing their currency. Pre-war value was $2.22. Also on that Sunday, Zap reported that bankers who were preventing progress had been removed and the new ones were solid and working correctly. He felt the schedule this coming week was firm for a release of funds for humanitarian projects. On August 29, Ray Ren reported that the wait was over based on intel he received, in Iraq their amnesty law was passed and published in the Gazette, Musel was under control and a new defense minister has been named. In the U.S., banks were expecting exchanges with Thursday being the day for a lot of people. Rates are higher than has been shared in the past, especially on the dinar. On that same August 29, Jester reported that in September 2015, the IMF delayed the vote to October 2016, on inclusion of the yuan as a reserve currency, then turned around in November and made it so ratified it in December, and enacted it in February. This was not something that happened. It was a part of the process and planned that way. The changes since were part of the plan. He said we were on track to inclusion of the UN into SDR basket on October 1st. They would sell bonds shortly, even before that. In an August 29th article by Benjamin Fulford, he claimed that Germany was preparing for war to defeat the Hazarian Mafia, that a summer ceasefire was ending and ordered its citizens to stockpile 10 days worth of emergency food supplies in preparation for a war of independence, according to both CIA and MI6 sources. The German government is mobilizing 600,000 militia members in preparation for this war, as a result of a request by the Hazarian-controlled US government, for Germany to accept a massive false flag attack on its territory, as an excuse for totalitarian Hazarian rule. The Germans have decided to refuse this request, and are instead allying themselves with the Russians, and effectively joining the UK and Turkey in a Western-led move against the Hazarian-controlled American government. The German move is just the opening salvo of what is expected to be a decisive campaign to permanently end Hazarian control of the West, and its remaining slave states. Expect similar moves in France, Japan, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and Brazil. In other news, people on the White Dragon Society bounty list have been vanishing from public view, one by one. On August 30th, the big call with Bruce Intel notes by Pink Roses for August 30th, it was reported. It is very quiet overall. Wells Fargo went on lockdown a couple of days ago. Redemption centers on lockdown, with no info coming in or out. This is a good sign. Abbott Downing went on lockdown about 5 o'clock yesterday. Wells Fargo attorneys went on lockdown at 9.30 a.m. yesterday. They were told they couldn't even contact higher officers in the bank. We understand there is a timeline and we are at the end of the timeline. This is to be completed by the end of the month, tomorrow. There are negations going on as the powers, cabal, that be are fighting for their own survival. This is getting down to serious business. We have heard that Vietnam has made a reinstatement of their rate. 
In Iraq they have passed the Federal Banking Act, Amnesty Law and Judicial Law, and will be publishing them in the Gazette late tonight or early tomorrow, making them official law. This is the last thing they had to do before the revaluation. The Iraqi dinar has been out for some time. It is now over $5, and expected to go up in value. The high rates will be in effect for 8 to 10 days, either from September 1st to September 9th, or from September 2nd to September 12th. Abbott Downing personnel have been in training for 20 months on how to do intake on the Zim. The Zim is not a currency exchange, it is a bond exchange. The high Zim rates are not sovereign rates, but are negotiated rates that you ask for. Abbott Downing will do your investments on the Zim so you can be philanthropic. You will receive family office and concierge services. Set your appointment right away. They want to get the Zim bonds exchanged in the first 72 hours. Iran is putting out their cards, but they are not in the first basket of currencies to revalue. The rate is supposed to be close to the Iraqi dinar. The global currency reset has to be completed before the big G20 meeting on September 4. According to the August 30th Wing It Call Notes by Mr. Ed, Wing It Conference Call Raw Intel Notes August 30th. The cabal has entered into their second day of what seems to be a serious discussion over their final surrender position. If they agree to the terms today or tonight, they will be granted amnesty or a limited form of amnesty, depending on their crimes. If there is no surrender, if they reject the amnesty offered, then all bad acts, crimes and disloyalties will be fully disclosed, i.e., the names of all involved and to what degree they were involved will be made public. If they do not accept amnesty, the revaluation will happen tomorrow, and mass arrests will start on Thursday, September 1st. The Pope's signing of the release of the Golden Jubilee comes to an end on July 31st, which marks the end of the amnesty agreement for complete surrender of the cabal. If the cabal accepts amnesty today or tonight, the revaluation will happen tomorrow. Everything has to be done before the G20 on September 4th. Obama will be flying out of the country for two weeks to appear to sign the Paris Agreement, for public view, i.e., Nizera and Gisera. Behind the scenes the Paris Agreement is already complete. Wells Fargo bank attorneys have had 800 numbers for quite some time and are sitting on them. Attorneys, paymasters, controllers of exchange centers, and Abbott Downing, have all been sequestered and on lockdown since 11 a.m. on Sunday. Lockdown ends on Wednesday, August 31st at noon. Revaluation will start at that time. According to the August 30th Wing It call with Gary Maguire, Art, and Eco, Wing It. Fisher stated that the revaluation has started. Some in the U.S. began exchanging yesterday. All kind of announcements are scheduled to be made on Thursday. If the cabal agrees to the terms of their surrender by this evening, the 800 numbers will be released late tonight. If the cabal does not agree to surrender today, their crimes will be exposed, some will be arrested and the 800 numbers will be released tomorrow. Yesterday a man in Mexico said that they announced the new U.S. Republic at his business. When he got home, the new U.S. Republic announcement was scrolling across his TV screen. There was also a report about the new Republic in Holland yesterday. A lot of people have bank appointments scheduled for Thursday. On August 30th, Admin Bill of the Western States Open Mic Network reported that those Intel who are talking are saying the global currency reset and revaluation will happen on or before September 1st, Word was that Iraq should see release of their new paper and coin today, banks were said to be on alert with wealth managers moved into place in certain locations, all was said to be completed, along with a certain 2013 decree that would become active on August 31st. Also on that August 30th, Fisher claimed that the revaluation and global currency reset had started, the 800 numbers were out and the US notes were being paid as of yesterday.